There we go. Okay. In your Google form, fill out your class. Fill out your last name. Make sure you put them in the right order. Yes, I know that it's weird that last name's first, but that's how we sort you in alphabetical order. The last name, first name. By the end of class today, you'll be able to answer some questions about my preferences and your preferences. For reading workshop, you will notice it is a little bit of a different text today, so it might take you a minute longer to do. Okay, so let's take a look at the reading workshop text. This is just an example of what someone's goals or wishes or desires or dreams might be for their school year. So mis sueños, if you remember from last time, means my goals or my hopes, my wishes. El año escolar. Anyone remember what año escolar means? Anna? School year. School year. So, or this school year there. You shouldn't be typing anything yet. So here are some of their, their goals. Estudiar. Comunicarme con los profes. Who are profes? Owen? Professors. Which would it also be like? Teachers. Exactly. Musica en español. Investigar universidades. What are universidades? Lana? Universities. Participar en un club escolar. So if año escolar means school year, what do you think? Club escolar means, Sam? Yeah, like a club from school. And then, unas ideas. Maybe they have some ideas that they want to learn more about. Teatro, what do you think teatro is? I have a fog on my glasses. I have to switch my eyes. Anyone idea? Teatro? Do you? No, but well, that's the next one. Technología is the next one. Looking at the word right before it. Theater, teatro, theater. And then maybe they're gonna investigate some social justice causes, possibly like the Black Lives Matter movement. So here are someone's examples of their goals. So let me go over the questions before you start answering. Yes, Sam? Can everybody else make fun of computers? Nope, don't do it. Tell it not to, otherwise you won't be able to do the work. So your first question. Escribe los cognados en inglés. So you're going to write the cognates again. So the words that look the same in English and Spanish. You need three. How many do you need? Three. And you have to write them in English. Ariana. Right, Join me up here. Eyeballs over here. Sam. You have to write them in English. You can include the Spanish if you want. Spell the best you can. Okay, so again, you're looking up here at this text. And then there are some multiple choice questions again. Remember that the question right underneath the picture. So you have to look at it closely and you pick the color of the highlight over the word it's asking for. So there's one, two, three multiple choice questions. And once you get class discussion, close the Chromebook. Got it? Go. You gave me like this. You gave me one on this. You gave me one on this. You gave me two. all of them, Gio? You're speedy. Holy guacamole. <coughs> Impressionante. Sam, whoa. Lana, whoa. It's not a race, though. I want you to get them right. So as long as you're fast and correct, that's what matters. Appreciate you guys following my directions. Close up those Chromebooks when you're finished. Then I know you're ready to go. Don't mind me ripping clipper cash back here. It's faster for me if I can give it to you when it's not attached to the pad of paper. Any 
notes today, because like I said, we're gonna zip through our lesson quickly. So what is your job, especially if you're not taking notes, when we are talking and having a discussion? Mariana? Looking at the board. Looking at the board. Alana? Listening. Listening. Owen? Talk with the purpose, or support the small conversation. Yes, well, talk with purpose too, I appreciate that. Yeah, don't talk for no reason. But supporting the discussion and the things we're talking about. Anything else? Sam? Raise your hand when you can. Yes, raise your hand if it's appropriate when you want to add something to the conversation. Okay. Sobre nuestra clase. About our class. I'm going to tell you a little more about me too because I can. Prefieres. Prefieres means prefers. Prefieres tener un gato o un perro? Yo, yo prefiero tener un gato. Es obvio. Yo tengo dos gatos. Okay. Con las manos. Vamos a votar. We're going to? We're going to? Vote. Vamos a votar. ¿Quién prefiere tener un gato? Okay. Uno, dos, no. Con manos arriba. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco personas prefieren tener un gato. ¿Y quién prefiere tener un perro? Solo uno. Un animal. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Sam. No, no es una opción. Gato o perro, Sam. It's a tiebreaker. Sam, gato o perro. Imaginen, estás en la casa y hay un animal. El animal es un gato o un perro. Sam, en el futuro, Hmm? Un perro. Oh, okay. Seis personas prefieren tener un perro. Cinco personas prefieren tener un gato. ¿Cuál es más popular? Gato o perro? Perro. Okay. Número dos. Prefieres La playa o las montañas. Yo prefiero las montañas. ¿Por qué no hace calor? En la playa oh, hace mucho calor y no me gusta. Las montañas son buenas para mí. Ok. ¿Quién? Prefiere la playa. Con las manos, con las manos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. ¿Y las montañas? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ok. Un voto. La playa, Logan, para ti. La playa, ok. Otra vez, las montañas. Lana, tienes que, you have to, tienes que decidir. Playa o montañas, playa o montañas. Montañas, ok. Seis personas prefieren la playa. Cinco personas prefieren montañas. ¿Cuál es más popular, playa o montañas? Seis. Seis personas prefieren la playa. Cinco personas prefieren las montañas. ¿Cuál es más popular? La playa. Ay, Dios mío, gracias. Ok. Pregunta número tres.
¿Prefieres comer helado o pastel? Yo prefiero comer helado y mi sabor, sabor es flavor, mi sabor favorito es menta y chocolate. What's my favorite flavor? Amy? Hmm? Remember, you guys gotta like yell. You have things black in your voices for me. One more time, Amy? Oh, that's not a yell. Try again. Mint chocolate. Still not a yell. Come on, use your teacher voice. Mint chocolate. See. Okay. Kian, you have to pick. And you may not pick both. You're raising your hand before I even ask the question. Yes, Sam. Um, I like ice cream cake. I no. I like cake and I don't like ice cream. No. If you had to pick. If you were like, we will give you a million dollars to pick one of the options, and you have to pick. If you don't pick, you don't get any money. And they take all your money, and everything else that you love in the world. Okay. Piensan, piensan, piensan. Quien prefiere helado? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Mariana, no? No. Son pastelitos. Okay. ¿Quién prefiere pastel? <laughs> Solo una persona. ¿Helado es popular? ¿Sí o no? Sí. Sí. ¿Es muy popular? Sí. Sí. Diez personas. Diez. Mariana. What? Mariana prefiere pastel. It's okay, you can have whole cake then. It's all for you? No, no ice cream though. Okay. I need a sugar rush now. Ever. I need a sugar rush now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Prefieres vivir. Vivir means to to live. Prefieres vivir en una ciudad. What do you think a ciudad is? O baja la mano. O vivir en el campo. What do you think el campo is? Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. That's not quite the thing. Amy? Yeah, like out in the country, the countryside. Okay, yo, baja la mano, Sam, no, no, silencio, silencio, si, okay, so, baja la mano, escucha me, esta pregunta, the question, esta pregunta es difícil, Difficult. It's difficult for me. Pero. Oh, okay. Yo prefiero. Oh, I do. Yo prefiero vivir en la ciudad. Porque hay muchos restaurantes. So why do I prefer this option here, just seven? Si, y hay muchos restaurantes en la ciudad. Okay, Sam, what is your question? If we went out in the country, can all the mosquitoes die? Well, I think for this situation, you just gotta take it as it is. That doesn't mean there's not mosquitoes in the city. But you can, but, well, not quite, not quite. Hold on. I'm just helping him make a decision for once. So, Sam, but if you lived in the country, you probably have a lot of land, and you can do what you want to the land and have citronella candles if you need them. Can I make 
the land a city? <laughs> no, because then you wouldn't be in the country anymore. All right. Quien prefiere vivir en la ciudad? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro personas. ¿Y quién prefiere vivir en el campo? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Who didn't vote? Mariana? Mariana? It's either shopping or campfires, and I don't know which one. Es necesario. Tienes que decidir. Ciudad o campo. Ciudad o campo. Cinco. Cuatro. Tres. Dos. Oh, en el campo. Siete personas prefieren el campo. Okay. Mariana. No. No tienes el internet en el campo. ¿Cuál es más popular? Más popular. ¿Por qué me Sí. ¿Ciudad o campo? Campo. Ok, uno más. Es mi favorito. La pregunta. Es interesante. Ok. Cálmense, cálmense. ¿Prefieres estar atrapado con un león salvaje baja la mano? O, oh, hola señora G. Hola, ¿cómo está? Sam es un poco loco. Poco. No, sí, poco. Poco. Only poco? Not grande? <laughs> we'll see. Depends on what happens in this question. Ah. Baja la mano. Y el baño. Ok. Señora G prefiere el baño. Ok. ¿Qué prefieren? Estar atrapado con un león salvaje o cruzar. What do you think cruzar means? Cruzar. Momento, momento, momento. Okay. Road, hi. Sí, es una calle. What'd you say? Road. Sí, es una calle. Una persona está aquí y va al otro lado. Sí. Walk across. Sí. Cruzar un desierto sin agua. No hay agua. Para mí, yo prefiero estar atrapada con un león porque este león es un gato y me gustan los gatos. El león es mi amigo. Es mi amigo. Es mi amigo, ¿sí? No. Ana. Ok. Pase. Imaginen. ¿Qué me decir tú? Imaginen. Yo estoy atrapada con el león. El león y yo hablamos porque yo hablo gato, sí, y el león es mi amigo, porque yo hablo gato, es obvio, pase, dos preguntas, Mariana, Mariana, tú hablas gato, Two, I want gato. What am I asking her? Mariana, two, I want gato.
serpiente. Es el serpiente. El serpiente está atrapado. That's not the deal. Tú estás atrapado con el león. Logan? What's the desert with the flower? No sé. Es posible. Lana? Uh, don't deserts have puddles of water? Lana? Don't deserts have puddles of water? No sé. Es posible. But it says no water, so you can't drink Con, water? Sí. Oh. No tienes agua en una botella. Okay, okay. Anything else? No sé, no sé. No, bajen las manos, bajen las manos. Okay. Quien? Prefiere estar atrapado con un león. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete personas. Y quién prefiere cruzar el desierto sin agua? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál es más popular, león o desierto? ¿Qué me asking? ¿Leon o desierto? Ok. Fantástico. All right, take a moment. Talk to your neighbors about the very difficult choices you just had to make. This little like 
O with an accent at the end, it means it happened in the past tense. So it's the class voted. So remember that N can mean in, at, or what can N mean? In, at, or on. So which one of those is going to make sense here? On. You voted on the different questions. All right, let's start over. All of you need to hear your voices. Fast to be a through it, the more free time we have. Starting with the. Here we go. the prefer again. Okay. The students prefer louder. Here we go. Dogs. Dogs. Try that again. Here we go. Dogs. The beach. Ice cream. Country. And the lion. All right. All right. Open up your Chromebooks. Las computadoras, sí. Ooh, let's see if you remember what I liked. Brooklyn? Can I stop you? Uh, you don't need to today. I will always let you know if I want you to stop me. All right, so the first question is asking. Remember the question is like teeny tiny underneath here. La señorita Leopard, prefiere los gatos o los perros? Escribe en español. So what is your answer need to be written in? Spanish. Spanish. Don't type yet. We're going to practice writing a complete sentence. So who's the subject? In Espanol. La Senorita Leopard. Then we need a verb. What verb do we need in Espanol? Then the question. Lana? Prefiere. I don't care if you say it wrong. And now you can put your answer in. And again, both choices are in the question. So read the question to help you with your answer. Don't go type in. Is Sonia Rita capitalized? No. Tis not. It's asking, La Senorita Leopard prefiere la playa o las montañas? So again, we're going to start our question the same way. So what do we need to start with? Just shout it out. La Senorita Leopard. And then what's my verb? Prefiere. And then, oh, 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 that's a lot of dots. And then finish the sentence with your option. I'm not worried about the any accent marks. I just gave you the answer already. Or you can just copy and paste the letters from the question. Doesn't matter to me. And then, at the end, it's optional, that very last question. It says, what's your favorite would you rather type of question? So would you rather do this or that? If you have a favorite question, type it in there. If you don't, that's fine. Scroll past it and hit submit. And then you have the next 10 minutes or so to go on Senior Wooly on whatever you want and relax. You've made it through another week of school. Yay. Almost. Yes, Logan? Well, does it have to be Senior Wooly or can it be like kind of like a vacation? You need to go on Senior Wooly because it is Spanish class. Or I won't give you free time ever again. Lana. Did you um, look at the questions that people gave for our Senate class on their, 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 
I don't remember. There were like, oh, I had to look at like 100 different answers. I probably did. Seven? You may. Make sure you hit submit, and then go ahead and send your rule. Make sure you remember your password from last time. If you need to borrow headphones, you can grab some from over here. It's time to relax.